Hello, fifth grade, and welcome to your math lesson on page 259 through 260, which is introduction to uh, the concept of area. Now, this is a very basic concept that we're just going to go over today, and we'll get more in detail as we go through it. But what I want you to know is that area is the inside of a polygon, okay? And perimeter is the outside. Okay, so when we're going this whole line is the outside, right? That's why I was drawing my circle. But the inside is the area, okay? Now, area measures the surface of the simple closed figure, okay? Area is found by dividing the region into square units. Now, what that means is that when you uh, divide an object into square units, your answer will always be in square units. Okay, so how to explain it? If we were to take a look at our um, classroom. So put in your mind, think of your classroom. Okay, we're all sitting there, we're sitting in our rows, right? And you know how so many times I've said, okay, around, I'm gonna paint the walls, right? Okay, but in this case, let's put new carpet in our, in our classroom, okay? We wanna put new carpet in the floor. Now, what we would do is we would have to measure out, okay? And we would uh, measure it into square feet. Okay, a square foot would be 12 by 12, 12, uh, uh, or, or one foot, sorry, 12 inches. So one foot, right, by one foot or 12 inches, uh, right, by 12 inches, sorry. Okay, so we would take and we would measure out 12 inches because that's kind of where I went. Sorry about that. Okay, we'd measure out 12 inches, one foot, right? And we go one by one, one by one, one by one. So let's take a look like this was our classroom, okay? So if this was our classroom, what we would do is we would go one foot, one foot, one foot, one foot, one foot. Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, all the way through our whole entire classroom. And then we would be able to go to uh, the carpet store and say, I need, you know, 200 square feet, okay, of carpet, and I'd be able to lay it down. So basically, it's counting up the region inside of a simple closed figure. That would be area. So now, if you have, want to know in inches, we would have done it by 12 inches and then 12 by however many, right? Okay. And so forth, if you need to do it in centimeters or whatever. But no matter what, when you are doing area, you're going to end up with unit measurement square inches. Now, you know that I keep telling you guys on your quizzes and tests, you have to give me unit measurement, okay? Lexi went to write something down the other day, um, yes, or yesterday, um, on uh, uh, the distance uh, in, in, in her nation. And she wrote the distance, but she didn't write miles. She didn't write kilometers. She didn't write anything. Okay. She didn't write feet. She didn't write inches. She didn't write anything. That's a big deal. Okay. You've got to put down your unit measurements going forward or anybody reading whatever it is that you're doing is not going to know what it is that you're trying to say. Cause I'm like, well, how, what's the distance, Lexi? Is this miles or kilometers? And she was like, oh my goodness. I, I, let me go check. So we can't read your mind if we're reading a paper on something, okay? You have to put unit measurement. That's why I keep telling you guys on all your quiz tests is put unit measurement. So this is essential that you always put unit measurement and it's going to be square, right? And then like feet or square inches, okay? Whatever it is, you're always going to have square in front of it, okay? For area. So basically what you would do is you took a look and let's look at 1A, okay? We're going to do 1A together. What you would do is basically you're counting up all of the squares that are located in the yellow box, okay? That's going to get you area, okay? In this sense, we're doing units, square units, because we don't know if they're using um, a feet or inches. So we're going to use the measurement units, okay? So if you were to go ahead and count all of those yellow squares up, I'm going to give you a minute. Go ahead, go. Count the squares. Don't wait for me to give you the answer. Okay. 
Okay, you should have gotten, ready? 36, you should have counted 36 for the yellow box 1A. That means you have 36 square units, okay? Pretty easy for, for square, right? We're gonna get in tomorrow on how to get the square uh, measurement and how to break it all down. But right now, I wanted you to know that area is the inside of a simple close figure. You would break it up into square unit measurement, depending on whatever unit measurement you're going to use, and that would be breaking it all the way up into square so you could measure it out. So this happens when you use paint, and I know I use construction as a, as a, as a tool, but construction and math is just, it just goes hand in hand. So if you want to paint something, if you want to build something, if you want to put carpet down, if you want to know if you need enough tile for a, a room, things like that, they're going to use square feet or square inches, depending on um, how big. Obviously, the bigger the room, you're going to go with square feet, maybe even square yards, right? Square miles, okay? If you're going on distance, length, things like that, okay? If you're doing like a big square okay um, of like the state of like what state is square Colorado right okay you go square miles okay so um, that is a concept of area so today here is your lesson you guys are gonna do uh, one uh, B and C you're also gonna do two three and five that's it show me your work though show me your work show me your work show me your work let me tell you something when i pull your math books at the end of the year and i don't see you working these problems out in your math book you're going to have a challenge because i'm going to remove participation points for math for you you have to show me your work okay so when you do two you're going to be showing me perimeter okay remember perimeter there are a few different um uh uh, what are they called? Equations <laughs> that you use for perimeter. Okay. And oh, I have an area. Look, I have an area one. Okay. Here's another thing. Area is the inside of the geometric shape. So if you could see in this rectangle, remember perimeter, we have eight inches by four inches of the rectangle by eight by four, right? Then we would add these all up when we broke it in, okay? So we're gonna go over this uh, tomorrow though. I don't want you to jump ahead and see that. For those of you who already caught it, Amir, Jacob, I know you guys are already jumping to wanna know what that is, but don't jump ahead, stay with me, just do your basic area. But don't forget your perimeter equations, right? Uh, rectangle, two times length plus two times width equals uh, perimeter. And for your square, four times S equals perimeter, okay? So you guys are going to work on two, show me your work, show me your equation. You're also gonna do three, show me your work. And you're also going to do five, which is uh, finding the degrees of the third angle of the triangle. And don't forget to find the triangle, it's a plus B plus C equals 180 degrees, right? So if you only have two of these, right, then you've got to find the third one. What do we do? We add these two together and then we subtract it by 180, remember? That's how we find uh, the third angle of the triangle. Okay, so one, two, three, and five. That's it. Enjoy your math and have a great day.